great that we've announced our half year results 2024. For me, what is most exciting is we have seen uh, the two countries uh, in Kenya having fantastic results, uh, broad-based growth, both top and bottom line, uh, and actually very healthy business uh, driven by customer growth, by usage growth, uh, by what we call uh, ALPU growth, which is earning uh, um, average revenue per user growth. And, and also Ethiopia, we have seen huge commercial momentum in the, pa in the past six months. Uh, so the, this is our third year or, or since we'll, we launched in Ethiopia. We are seeing acceleration in customer numbers now to six million. Uh, our network is about half of what we have in Kenya just in two, two and a half years. And uh, despite some of the uh, impact, uh, one of impact of foreign exchange changes in Ethiopia, uh, the, the, the business is very, very solid. We've seen very good uh, use of uh, mobile data uh, in Ethiopia, 6.6 .6 gigs per customer compared to 4.1 in Kenya. So very strong Kenya performance, acceleration in Ethiopia. And if you took out, if you didn't take into account the impact of de depreciation of the currency, we would have grown top line uh, group at 14%, uh, top line, which, which, is, which is the real growth that we've announced but also bottom line would have grown by 22%, which is very, very strong for a group of our size. In 2021, we created a 2025 strategy where we wanted to move from a telco to a telco. And this year is the last year of that strategy and the first year of the next one, which the board approved last year, which is Africa's leading purpose-led technology company. I, I want to see it more as the first year of the next one than the last year of the old one. And the reason for that is because it expands our horizon uh, by looking forward, uh, by saying this is the last year. But the most important thing, you should always ensure uh, in, in the strategic and vi uh, visioning that strategy horizons uh, evolve into each other, rather than one ends and the other one starts. And the reason for that is, you know, the company doesn't come to a halt. It doesn't stop. You continue to execute. It's just to ensure that you, you bring new impetus uh, so that the next horizon starts to operate before the old horizon ends. But it's all related because from a telco to a telco to a, an Africa's leading tech company is, a, is the same horizon. And then, and then Ethiopia in the next horizon will be much bigger than in the first horizon. Big data and AI has actually transformed, uh, so therefore it will pick up uh, quite significantly. And also the, the whole piece around uh, use of the internet. So the for me, and also the, all these solutions we are starting to create. So going beyond telco, it's about creating solutions o o on top of a connectivity, reliable, always on, uh, safe, secure connectivity layer and payment, payment layer. Uh, so that it allows individuals to live their lives. It allows, uh, it, empower, it allows us to empower business and therefore allows us to live our purpose, which is ensuring that we continue to solve societal challenges using technology and innovation together. So I, when you asked me how do I feel, I feel fantastic because our business is doing very well, even in the transition of the strategy, which means that the connection is good, but also um, it, it also shows that we have momentum, which is always good to have when you are, when you are moving into a new strategic horizon. And um, the future is digital. So we see huge headroom to grow. But the most important is being in service uh, of enabling uh, people live the lives they want and empowering business. Uh, and that's, that's the fundamental part, which is, uh, which is the, the reason why we will uh, uh, we deliver on our purpose of transforming lives.